This morning, students at one Westchester College will switch to virtual learning after rising COVID cases. Iona College has temporarily canceled in-person classes after a number of infections that appear to be connected to the athletic teams. CBS News' John Diaz joins us live from New Rochelle this morning with more. John? Yeah, good morning to both of you. And many may remember that New Rochelle was one of the first COVID clusters to develop when this pandemic first hit. But these new cases, all 65 new COVID cases, authorities, officials do not believe that transmission is widespread. But nonetheless, though, this community that we've been speaking with are growing concerns. For the next two weeks, all classes at Iona College will be online. This after a spike in COVID cases. What they did was they had certain dorms going for testing. So they only really told us uh, what our results were for the coronavirus. The increase was first identified among student athletes. Now seven teams have positive cases. In all, 65 students have tested positive. School officials trace the spread back to what's being described as a single isolated event. It seems like it's just like irresponsible, I guess, to expect the students not to party, not to coordinate, you know, hang out with each other because there's nothing else to do because of COVID. Contact tracers are tracking down everyone affected who is required to isolate or quarantine. The rest of the students are out and about in the community. It's college kids, so it's going to be difficult to sort of isolate them. I, honestly, I think they should have done uh, remote and not open up the, the college. There's already heightened sensitivity here. After all, New Rochelle was one of the first COVID clusters in the country. There's no indication as of now that this outbreak has spread to the broader community. It appears to be confined entirely to the student body. Still, the mayor says this serves as a warning. This is an indication that COVID-19 is still very much present in our region. And so we continue to remind residents not to let down their guard. And we're told that some of the students responsible for that activity that caused the spread on this campus will undergo a judicial review. Now, details surrounding all that have not been made readily available to us just yet. But if and when they do, of course, we'll keep you updated. But for now, we are live this morning from New Rochelle. John Diaz, CBS 2 News. Okay, John, thank you. Now